Okay, I want to <clears throat> talk about our history. <clears throat> wrote this a little bit ago so we humans are the invader species we are the products of genetic engineering of an earth simian species about 1.5 million years ago so I guess I should put the source um, I think uh, but also uh, it's, it's based on listening to videos reading material from many people who talk around this topic so it's this is just kind of my resynthesis of information that's already out there uh, except I'm trying to pose some moral questions, <laughs> I think, because I don't know if we're the good guys and they're the bad guys. It might, uh, it might not be that simple, the morality, the, you know. So, this genetic engineering was done by an alien humanoid species from the Aldebaran star system called the Elohim. These are the beings talked about in the Bible. At the time of our initial creation, there existed on Earth a non-human intelligent species with advanced technology. These are the Terran reptilians. Now I'm saying there might have been other, other like advanced beings, but I'm not sure. The Elohim created many versions of our human ancestors and perhaps even caused their extinction as they improved upon the human project. As noted in the Lacerta files, around 75,000 years ago, the Elohim created a version of humanity that built the pyramids. These humans were intelligent and, I believe, they had psychic powers, meaning they could use advanced technology that needed use of psychic um, energy, <laughs> energy or thought or something. Like the UFOs, in order to fly the UFOs, you need psychic powers. You need consciousness, you know, mind over matter, consciousness assisted technology. Think of consciousness assisted technology. This, these could even be weapons, but they could, you know, they, you know, think about like how UFOs and, you know, you can think of the UFOs as sort of like alive beings, like kind of biological machines, and the, in order for the humans to operate them. They have to interact directly with the consciousness field of the UFO. And, and there's a lot of evidence saying that these UFOs like, are like organic craft. So I think the people who built the pyramids are, had this psychic capability. The creation of this fifth version of humanity was seen as a threat by the native Terran reptilians which led to a war with the Elohim. Because now, yeah, now they were a threatening species because of advanced technology. Apparently the Elohim may have lost its fall, I'm not sure. I, I think they did. The human civilization was destroyed and the Elohim left. Or there was an uneasy truce. The Elohim created the sixth version of humanity around 6, 16,000 years ago. I believe these are the Atlanteans around Bimini. And I think some of these Atlanteans are survived and, and they, um, they might even be alive even now, I don't know. 
This led to another war with the Terran Reptilians. Again, the Elohim lost and the human civilization was destroyed. Atlantis was destroyed. This could be the Great Flood as described in the Bible. The Elohim created the seventh version of humanity, modern-day humans, around 8,500 years ago. And maybe there was, a, there was still some kind of a fighting, an uneasy, truce, cold war, hot war, whatever. Apparently, they left Earth around 5,000 years ago. And this is seen as a great victory by the Terran Reptilians. But, you know, they have been known to leave for thousands of years and come back. Yeah, according to the Lesser Files, the Elohim seem to leave and then they come back. Leave and they come back. And apparently this caused some kind of conflict between the Elohim themselves because some of them were saying, why are you keeping on creating humanity? Even, you know, obviously these natives, they don't want us to be here. So let's talk about World War II and the Nazis. I believe the Terran reptilians are located in the North and South Poles as well as around Tibet. They have bases on the ground. And this is, you know, about the Thule Society, Maria Orsic and all that. The Nazis and their German predecessors became aware of the existence of these Terran reptilians and developed a relationship with them. Maria Orsic was a psychic who was supposed to have communicated with Nordic aliens from Aldebaran and the Terran Rift, I mean the Elohim. Through psychic communication, Orsic received plans to build a UFO. I believe when the Nazis got wind of this, they also obtained plans to build a nuke from these Aldebaran communications. The Americans had spies among the Nazis and became aware of this. They wanted to obtain the technology and definitely the nukes. Because... Uh, Yeah, the Americans wanted to defeat the Nazis, obviously. Uh, as the war progressed, some Nazis realized that they could lose. This became especially apparent, especially against the Russians, you know, uh, Stalingrad, um, you know, that, that whole situation. And I believe some Nazis made a deal with the reptilians to transfer some of their members and families to bases in Antarctica where they will build a breakaway civilization. Again, this is uh, an idea that you know, has been suggested. And I think this is what's happened. These are the people who are the Cabal Deep State Secret Space Program, you know, Operation Paperclip, NASA, uh, I mean, <laughs> NASA. <laughs> they are aligned with the Terran Reptilians. Humanity is in the middle of a war between the Terran Reptilians and the Aldebaran aliens. The Elohim gave humans nukes so they could assert independence from the Terran Reptilians. The Terran Reptilians, in alliance with the Deep State Cabal, has been trying to find ways to gain control over these nukes and implement a control system over humanity so humans don't become a threat to themselves and the planet. I believe the only reason a hot war does not exist between the Terran reptilians and the surface humans is due to the nukes. They also don't have psychic powers, so we cannot operate advanced technology like the Atlanteans did in the past. However, time may be running out. For whom? For humanity or for the US? Maybe, in exchange for nuclear tech, the Elohim told the U.S. government at the time they would have to establish a one-world government over a period of time, uh, after which... Um, after which the Elohim would come back and restart the war with the Terran Reptilians. And this is why... Yeah, I think the Elohim are going to come back with a new version of humanity, their eighth version, and we, the seventh version, are being phased out. The cure given to most of humanity is part of this culling process. The SpaceX satellites being pushed to orbit and 5G are going to be used to send wireless signals to trigger the nanobots in the cure, 
which will then bring about heart attacks and kill off most of the human race. Whatever that is left of humanity will have to contend with the Elohim when they come back. We modern humans are being phased out for destruction so we can be replaced by the eighth version of humanity brought back to earth uh, by our creator God Elohim in the near future. I think this is what's uh, sort of going on. That's why you have 9-11. That's why you have Ukraine war. That's why you have these uh, the, the current Middle East crisis. That's why they're trying to create a one world government. I have a question here, actually. I have a question. I could be wrong. Maybe... The, it has been suggested that the reason we have all these nukes is because it's not to fight humans, but it's to fight aliens. I'm just thinking to myself, did... Were the nukes given by... I, I, I said here that the nukes were given by the Aldebarans. But what if the nukes were also given by the Terran reptilians? What if an alliance is formed between the Terran reptilians and maybe some aspect of the Elohim who are favorable to humanity and maybe Atl the Atlantean humans? And what if there's like an alliance and all these nukes, the thousands of nukes, they're being stored, and, and all of these black projects, uh, you know, building all these weapons. What if, what if all of this is being done to prepare humanity for a war with the Elohim when they come back in the near future with their sixth version of humanity and when they try to destroy us? What if all of these, all of this secrecy? is there in order to build a like a weaponry and and train soldiers and you know with psychic powers uh, what if that's what's going on and 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 the reason the deep state wants to build a one world government is because they want to arm all of humanity to fight the aliens when they come back But why are the Russians resisting this? If the Russians know of this, why are they resisting this? Why are the Chinese not in on this? Don't they know this? I, I suspect they should know this. Um, or is it such a huge secret? Even the Russians don't know it. Even the Chinese don't know it. Um. Uh, uh, I don't know. Something to think about. I mean, I could be wrong about the cure. I mean, it's. it's um, uh, this is sort of my understanding at the moment. <laughs> 